Hello everyone and thanks for taking the time to watch this video in which we are looking at a 1953 Wedgwood Jasper Ware Sugar Bowl made to commemorate Queen Elizabeth II's coronation. We're also going to try and clean it because as you can see in this example it is a little bit grubby. So Wedgwood was founded by Josiah Wedgwood in Stoke-on-Trent, England in 1759 and this year, which is 2019, it's the 260th anniversary of the company. Queen Charlotte of England, who was queen from 1761 to 1818, requested a tea and coffee service from Josiah, and Josiah took this opportunity to be known, to ask to be known as Potter to Her Majesty. This was granted, and so the relationship between Wedgwood and the royal family of Britain began, which led us to this piece, which we are looking at here today. Um, so this piece is a Jasper Ware sugar bowl made in 1953 to commemorate the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. Jasper Ware, which is still produced today, was developed by Josiah Wedgwood in the 1770s and has an unglazed matte finish and has been produced in a number of different colours. Pale blue, which this piece is, is the most common and known as Wedgwood blue. We will do a more detailed video on Jasper Ware in the future. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, this piece is a 1953 uh, Wedgwood Jasper Ware Sugar Bowl, which was made to commemorate Queen Elizabeth II's coronation, uh, which you can see the stamps underneath. So 1953 Wedgwood, pale blue Jasper, made in England. Uh, and there's also the Wedgwood stamp, um, a little bit, you might not be that clear on the camera, um, at the bottom as well. Interestingly, one of the wedding cakes between Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip was made in Wedgwood blue and white with Jasper styling obviously further showing the long-standing link between Woodward and the Royal British family, or Royal British Royal family. So this sugar bowl is actually in great condition, um, particularly considering its age, and there's no chips or cracks. Um, as you can see, it's the pale blue Wedgwood colour um, with the ER cipher of Queen Elizabeth, and on the other side is the Royal Coat of Arms. Um, the top obviously has the um, sort of the flower and berries or leaf and berry pattern, um, and inside it's in equally as good condition as the outside. However, it is a little bit um, grubby, so it does need a good clean, which is something we'll do now. So obviously you do need to take some care with, um, with items of this age and also this style. So as you can see, uh, there are a few marks on the piece and the white is not as bright as it could be. Um, however, it's not going to be the end of the world. So we're just going to use some good old fashioned soapy water and a toothbrush and a sponge. Obviously not wanting to scour the piece and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so if this did have some any cracks in it, that I wouldn't suggest putting it in the water because that could actually further damage the pottery as well. Um, and obviously sticking it in the dishwasher is certainly not something we want to do. So we do want to take some care with this. Okay, so to start with, we are actually going to put this straight into the water because we know there's no cracks. Obviously just using our toothbrush and just try and get into some of the, the finer detail and see how that comes out. And we've also got just a small sponge to clean the, the bigger surface areas. So I'm going to spend a few, a little bit of time doing this um, and obviously drying it and I'll show you the finished result in a moment. Right, so I'm really pleased with how that's come out. That is literally just with some warm water and or warm soapy water, a toothbrush and a sponge and about five minutes of time. But thank you for taking the time uh, to watch the video and I hope you found it interesting and informative. Uh, please like this video if it was useful to you and subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with what we are doing um, and to obviously see the latest pieces we acquire as well.